Siku moja tu baada ya muungano wa azimio kutangaza kurejelea maandamano kwa kupeana kalenda yake tarehe saba mwezi ujao sasa matakao yake yamepigwa vijembe kwa kutaka sheria mpya ya ushuru iliyotiwa sahihi na Rais William Ruto kutubiliwa mbali You do not want us to borrow You do not want uh, to want us to raise revenue as you've done uh, in this act then what do you want You know you, you just want to destabilize the country for your own selfish gains And to make matters worse, you're being dishonest. Because there was no, nobody called for a reduction of the budget. No, none of the Azimio uh, members of parliament called or sought an amendment to reduce an allocation for anything. Mwenye kiti wa kamati ya fedha bungeni kuria kimani ya mesema hakuna uwezekano uwaote, wa sheria hiyo mpia kutupiliwa mbali. I can't even imagine uh, the, 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 the whole uh, act being repealed. I, I can't even imagine because uh, you, you, you we have already uh, particular sectors and businesses already preparing uh, and, uh, and they have done now their own planning based on on, on on the act that has been signed repealing finance act of 2023 is not an option is not an option at all vile vile melani vikali wito wa azimio kuwataka wa Kenya kuangaisha serikali kukusanya ushuru just because because he lives in in in, in Karen and his office is a walking distance He shouldn't think that everyone lives a walking distance to their work to, to their workplace. And you know this is a problem with having people who have no touch at all with reality with the people on the ground. So if his his house is a walking distance to his office let him not imagine that that is how all Kenyans are. Sheria hiyo mpina pania kusaidia serikali kukusanya ushuru wa zaidi ya shilingi bilioni 331. Joel Chacharuninga ya K24 Nairobi